The cool thing about the cherry head, these guys are super friendly tortoises, man. Oh, look, it's Darth Maul. Look at how pretty her eyes are. They're also fond of toes. If you look in this area, this is a tortoise nest. There they are. Here's some tortoise eggs. Uh, you keep holding on to that because I know where that's going to go. Slinky's my garbage disposal. It's nice when you don't have to worry about feeding your tortoises because nature is doing it for you. I love telling you folks what's going on at the camp. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yes, all right, good times here. We are feeding some fish this morning. Sophia's helping me out. But we got a fun video for you guys today. Uh, so, what are we gonna do today? Um, we're gonna, we got the egg, one of the cherry heads laying eggs yesterday. That's right here, check all that in, will you? That's a girl, we got things to do, like man. This, huh? Yeah, these little piranhas here, huh? All right, come on, let's go. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go hang out with the cherry heads today. And I've got my awesome, smart assistant, Sophia, here with me. And she's gonna help me dig these eggs up. And it's the cherry head season, man. It's, um, it's exciting because it's the first time we're getting eggs this season. Um, what was cool is who noticed these eggs yesterday? Um, my cousin JP and um, Kevin. Oh yeah, that's me. Hey, so good thing about this is, look at all these guys are already out and about. So the cool thing, you need help? No problem. The cool thing about the cherry heads is these guys are super friendly tortoises, man. Like they do. Why don't you get him some cactus, man? Yeah, so these guys are always friendly. They're always wondering if I'm gonna be bringing them food. But I love these tortoises. Oh no, this guy's got little poopies on it from yesterday. I tried scraping most of it off, but it's got some poop on there still. So it looks like they're gonna need a shower. Um, sometimes, they poop when they're upside down for a long time. And um, if they they can roll around in it. Oh, look, it's Darth Maul. Look at how pretty her eyes are. All right, Soph's got some cactus. Watch what these guys do to cactus. They love it. Absolutely love it. And uh, I love these tortoises because these guys are friendly. They don't get huge. And they are extremely personable, which I guess is sort of like friendly. I am kind of involved here. Uh, they step on your feet. They yes. step on the trays, but these are cherry heads. They're basically a subspecies, guys, of the redfoot tortoise. They're a locality, if you will, and most of them stay small. You can see these are all adults. Whoa, wow, look at that. These guys are adults. They're also fond of toes, so you got to watch out for your toes when you're in here. Go ahead, look at the actual food, will you? Not my toes. No, no, not her toes, quick. There's uh, about 14 of them in here. And uh, I've had these guys a long time and they do very well here in South Florida. Uh, but the cool thing about them is they make good pet tortoises because they don't get huge. Um, so they're easy to manage. Except if, for the Darth Maul. That's Except right, the Darth Maul did get big. Now this is because Darth Maul might be a Bolivian cherry head. And the other cool thing about Darth Maul is when I first got her, I thought she was a male. You see this concavity here? And you see her tail? It's a little bit bigger right then what you would consider a uh, female if it were a regular redfoot well some of the female cherry heads will display male characteristics they'll kind of look like a male and the only reason i realized that she was actually a female was because she was laying eggs one day so i was set straight thank you very much darth maul oh my gosh so I have to lay against the tree. yeah you're gonna have to go up against the fence or something my goodness they love you when you bring them cactus. And they're very interested in this container. Uh, they're very inquisitive, so that's kind of cool. They've got a really nice little enclosure. We've got some water over there that comes on a sprinkler and clears out. We've also got them a nice tortoise house that's heated for the winter. But why am I here? Because if you look in this area, this is a tortoise nest. So what I'm gonna do is push Darth Maul away and I'm gonna kind of Scrape away some of this soil and you can see, <laughs> look at this, there they are. Here's some tortoise eggs, very cool. There's one there. All right, here's another one. We're gonna put them in the incubator or the incubator container. There's one, very good. And then we do the other one. Oh, this one looks, oh no. This one got smashed, so. Oh no, that one's broken. Sometimes when they put them in, they get smashed. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, here's another one. So we got two good eggs, um, but what are you gonna do? 
Yeah, one bad one. Uh, well, that's okay. This is just the first of many eggs that are going to be laid from these guys. These guys will lay. Look at the tortoise. I know, she's so it. funny. These tortoises will multi-clutch. In fact, they start so laying right yeah, about now. Them. I know, so nuts. They I think Darth Maul is climbing on everyone. Well, they've got strong shells. They'll be okay. Uh, they start laying here around now, and then they're going to keep laying all the way until about December, which is kind of cool. Same thing, the redfoots are going to start laying soon, um, but another tortoise species that's going to start laying soon. Uh, you keep holding on to that because I know where that's going to go. Um, yeah, where do you think it's going? Slinky. Yep, Slinky's my garbage disposal. Yep. Um, He's um, a living garbage disposal. That's right, he eats everything. Uh, so right now, we're in the elongated enclosure and you'll notice all the mangoes that fall to the bottom here they all get chomped on the squirrels will eat some they'll knock them down and then look we have a culprit right here how cool is this guys it's actual it's like an automatic feeding station for the elongated tortoises which is really cool so these guys so get a lot they want to take a nap by the by their mango that's right they sleep they right next sleep to their food they get hungry they can eat and go back to sleep yeah it's pretty good I like that idea. But you can see these guys have a really cool situation in here. And I'll also take some mango and I'll throw it over for those guys, the cherry heads. But what's cool is it's the season for mango. They're dropping like crazy. And you can see they get eaten up. These are the pits of the mango, some older ones. And uh, these guys love mango. Um, the reason I brought you over here also is because their egg laying season is gonna start as well. And what happens is I hear the males clank, clank, clank. They just bang right on the females. And uh, then they wind up, you know, kind of breeding. And a few weeks later, it turns out that the females are gonna lay their eggs. So I love seeing this. Isn't that great, Soph? Mm -hmm. It's nice when you don't have to worry about feeding your tortoises because nature's doing it for you. Pretty cool stuff. So I like when they eat this stuff also because the pits will help wear down their beaks. They use their claws. They really got to dig into this fruit. Um, and they seem to love this season, you know? What's nice is that it's seasonal. So they don't always eat mango, but they get a treat for about, maybe less, about two months they start getting mango because the mango really start dropping in um, June. And I love mango also, but unfortunately, we don't eat it anymore. We can't bring it in the house. Why is that? Because mom's allergic. Mom's allergic to the mango. The skin and the sap can really get her. So it's important that we don't bring it in because let me tell you something. This lady is, she gets rashed. It's so bad. Um, let's check on another one of our animals. Another two of our animals that are due to lay eggs any day now. And that is Petro and Petro. Oh. Petro's out, there he is, and Petra's out. Oh, let's go see them. So if I'm gonna go and see Petro and Petra. Okay, you just hold that egg for me, kiddo. Let me get these cotter pins, put them up here so I don't lose them. Open their house up. Hey, young lady. All right, so here we are, there's Petro. Okay, that's the male, but it's really about the female right now because you can see oh, she's starting to swell up with eggs. They're starting to develop and they'll be developing very soon. Oh, look at her. She loves when I scratch her. So it looks like that, but this is actually her submissive stance. This is her telling me that she's happy with me touching her. There's no issues. She likes getting touched because you see how she droops the tail down? and it touches the ground that shows me that she's okay with me touching her uh if the tail was up and she was bobbing her head vi uh, vigorously then that means she doesn't feel like being touched so i have to listen to her you know we have to learn how to talk to the animals without even using our words it's non-verbal communication right here can i tell you guys something about them uh what, and Ola? what are you going to tell every us every time i pet them they go like this they yeah. just like let me pet them. They do. And what do I do when you scratch my head? Uh, you fall asleep. I do. She brushes my hair and I fall right asleep. She's the best. All right, so check oh it out. God. I'm going to tell the folks about what's going on. You can see a little test digging is going on here. So as she starts to get more full of eggs, as they develop inside of her body, she starts to get restless and she starts digging around looking for a good place to lay her eggs. Now over the last 
three or four years, she's been laying her eggs in this area because it's got nice sunlight, it's high and it's sandy. And so she loves to dig a tunnel and lay her eggs in there. Um, the other thing I'll notice is that right here, her hips are gonna become more pronounced as she absorbs all those fat reserves because she's not eating as much now because her stomach is kind of shrunk to accommodate all the eggs that are put inside of her. Last year, she laid 13 eggs about that big and 12 of them were fertile. We had an amazing season. So she's a very healthy girl, a young lady at that, but she's beautiful and she's doing very well. Uh, these guys have a leathery eggshell instead of the porcelain eggshell like that one there, like the tortoise egg. So really, really good stuff, guys. I love telling you folks what's going on at the camp. I love teaching and hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I just wanted to show you a few more animals and we got to get that fed and we got to hey, put those. Slinky. Is Slinky coming out? Where is he? Oh yeah, he's over there. You guys want to go feed an egg to Slinky? All right, wait for me. Let's go out. All right, so there she is. So let's let her do her thing. I'm happy to see her out here basking. She's and shedding. Yep, and she's shedding and she's also getting ready to lay them eggs. So that's pretty good stuff, man. All right, let's close this up. It's important I remember to do all these things. My goodness. Very good, very good. Okay, all right, Darth Maul taking these eggs very good that's just the beginning guys I feel like uh, it's gonna be a good year for eggs so how exciting okay I'm just gonna place these eggs up on top of the cage while we go in and quickly feed the slinkster put them right here and then let's go self good girl all right let's unlock this slinky and this is kind of a cool thing to do, guys. You can kind of take the egg. Let's let's give it to him in a different way. Oh, you got a little dirty there, huh? Here, you stand back, huh? I need you to stand back. Oh, this this ain't big enough for the two of us. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Where can I put? Come here, Slinks. Come here, Slinky. What do I got? I want to kind of hide the egg. Let's put the egg right here. Here, shut that door, good girl. Let's see if I put the egg right there, Slinky. I want to at least get his tension slinky oh no slinky i got an egg for you come over here hmm this video will go on for hours if i do this let's just do slinks slinks look what i got look what i got there's the tongue he's got an egg to eat look at this how gentle he is oh that's so cool yep yeah. So, right down. Look at this. He lets the yolk go down. Eats the shell too. I don't know. Sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Maybe if he wants the calcium, he'll eat the shell. He likes to chomp it up. Look at that guy. How cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So nothing gets wasted here. We had a cracked egg. And Let's slink it. The living disposal. The living disposal. Now he's takes it in my hand, but everything seems to be okay. All right, buddy, you're a smart lizard. I love you. Hey, listen, I think it's about time we get this, uh, these eggs in the incubator, right? Okay. So glad I got Sophia, man. Sophia, I, every time, she always shuts me in the airlock, but she doesn't realize all I got to do is go like that. She thinks she traps me every time. This kid and her little games with me. I don't know. All right, Smofia, let's go. Let's go inside. I'm pretty excited to get this going to put the uh, eggs in the incubator. First eggs of 2020. Um, it's gonna be good. So, Soph, would you open the door for me? Thank you. All right, could you shut the door for me also? Oh, look, there's the boy child. Hi, boy child. Hi. Hi. All right, we're in the incubator room. Look at how nice it looks. Mom moved in here. Mom's a teacher. She's got to do distance learning. So she made me kind of, you know, get things a little bit more neat, which is nice. We got a carpet and like a chair, but the incubators are still here. And look, I got more hat racks. Life is good, let me tell you. Um, here's the incubator, but there's something I need to do first. The incubator's on, it always stays on, but I want to get some water in this. Maybe mommy will help us. Oh, she's working out. Mommy's working out. 
Uh, yeah, you want, she wants to show you her birthday present. She's very excited about this. For all the kids watching, um, you'll just, listen, do me a favor. Humor me on this one, okay? She wants to show you her American Girl doll that looks just like her. So uh, just bear with me, folks. Oh, here we go. Come on over, look at this doll. Does that doll not look exactly like Sophia or what? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. She's got a twin. It's amazing. What's her name? Her name's Sophia Jr. Oh, it's Sophia Jr.? How cool. Sophia Jr., very good. We had pancakes this morning. Don't mind the mess. It was pancake day. We're almost filled up. Why am I filling this up? This is some water for the incubator. Um, and it's going to become, it basically helps keep the humidity up and the temperature stable inside the incubator. So uh, that's what I'm doing. And we use this little pan, this little, it's actually a, a small cat litter pan. So I just fill it up and I keep this full. And like I said, there's some incubation happening there, which is good, or humidity rather, as it evaporates the fan that's up in here, uh, pulls this all together and mixes the air and keeps the temperature consistent and we get humidity. So I just keep that thing full. The other thing we do is with this vermiculite, this substrate here, uh, it has water mixed with it. I do a one to one ratio by weight. Uh, so if you have a pound of vermiculite, you use a pound of water uh, and mix it thoroughly and it creates a nice mixture. And for reptile eggs, it's really good because it keeps the humidity inside of this uh, stable and nice. So that's it, the first eggs of the 2020 season. How excited, you're clapping? Is that a golf clap or a real clap? What's going on there? Yeah, very good, very good. So we had a good day, man. We saw some animals, we learned about their egg laying techniques and what they're doing, a little update on the camp. We hung out with Sophia. Uh, she got an American Girl doll. She's nine years old. Whew. So big, such a big child. Anyway, that's it. She's uh, your, your couple year, your year closer to owning the camp, right? Yeah, she's gonna own the camp one day. All right, people, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Kenan. Don't forget to turn on the, uh, what is it? Turn on. Notifications and subscribe. Yeah, she's the best little girl. Leo. Yeah? Love you, man. What a guy, what a guy. All right, we're gonna go get in some more trouble out here. We got adventures. Hey, really quick, show them your cool present you got for your birthday. You gotta see this, guys, before we go. This is a little girl after my own heart. Uh, we had a birthday party yesterday. She is getting so big. And the really cool thing about being exposed uh, to the animals here, uh, she's just got a natural love of the animals. But check out this gift that her cousin JP gave her. She did, what is it? Here? It's, uh, it's Let the Adventure Begin Backpack. She's got a net. She's got, what do you got? Tweezers. A, tweezers to pick up bugs. She's got a magnifying glass to look at the bugs. A She's got a magnifying container in there. A compass. A compass. Yeah. Woo! And this. What is this? What? Oh, it's a headlamp so we can go looking for snakes at night. Oh, yeah, but when can we do that? Well, we'll do that pretty soon. That'd Maybe be a good thing. Maybe. I like going on adventures. I love snakes. Yeah, I know you. One of my favorite animals. Just like that's right, Colin over there. Oh, that's good. All right, everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining us today on our little adventure around the backyard. Sophia and I do appreciate it. Um, guys, be good to each other. Don't forget to uh, stay safe. Yeah, subscribe, all that stuff. We said that. We don't be here. If you're interested, go on over to patreon.com slash camp and you can uh, help support the camp. All right, everyone, see you soon.